These are crab-eating macaques that I spotted in a mangrove just outside of Krabi, Thailand. And I'd never seen this behavior before. I'd never seen them actually digging up the mussels and oysters and clams and searching for the crabs. So it was kind of cool. They basically have a free seafood buffet. I've seen this species before, but normally in the rainforest where we call them long-tailed macaques. It's the same species, but you can see here, they've dug up a clam and eating it. And the ones that live in the forest, they don't have this behavior. Obviously, they don't have access to the mangroves, so they don't dig up clams. They actually are a bit more omnivorous and jump from tree to tree, hunting for insects, hunting for bird eggs, hunting for slugs, basically anything they can get their hands on if they live in the forest. But these live in the mangrove, so they've learned kind of a cool behavior to dig up clams, which I've never seen before. Some other cool facts to know about these monkeys. So when you see a bunch of these monkeys, it's called a troop. And a troop of monkeys can be anywhere from just a few up to several dozen individuals that will all live together, hunt together, and make mischief together. Because this species is quite famous for being naughty. If you ever come to Indonesia or to Bali, you'll see these in the monkey forest and they're really famous because they will steal from you. The ones that have adapted to living alongside humans, they've habituated to human food, which isn't actually good for them. But what they'll do is be really naughty and they'll steal your lunch, they'll steal your bag, they'll even steal your hat steal your camera and be really really naughty I've even seen them grab a camera off a tourist and run up a tree and hang the camera off the tree which is kind of kind of sad for the tourists they can't get their camera back but let's focus on this behavior again it's really quite cool that they dig up these clams and crabs and they've adapted to that strategy Which also leads us to one of the more controversial aspects of the species. They're one of the few species that can actually use tools. And some scientists believe that they pass on learned behavior from generation to generation. And that this is evidence that they have culture. So whatever you believe, it's kind of cool. There's a lot of things to learn about these long-tailed macaques.